Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Clay Currington. I'm a videographer and photographer in the outdoor industry. Today I just wanted to take a second and go through my Scree whitetail and turkey hunting system that I have. I get quite a few questions on Instagram and Facebook when I post photos and videos wearing the gear. People are curious what I wear for whitetail and turkey hunting. Seeing as Scree is based out west out of Utah and they are a western clothing company and that's where they cut their roots. They are trying to get into the whitetail market more at the moment and I've kind of adapted their system, taken some pieces, pushed some out, depending on what I need and how my body reacts to certain temperatures. Uh, just a spirit of full canter. I am not sponsored by Scree. They don't give me free product. Um, they're not paying me to make this video. Everything you see here, I paid for. They made money off of it. Everything except for two pieces. Um, I actually got a set of prototype base layers from a buddy he let me keep. Other than that, I didn't get anything else for free. Um, for sizing wise, I am gonna go through that in the video later on. Um, I'm 5'10", I weigh about 180 pounds. All my shirts and jackets I wear outside of hunting clothing are large. All regular street clothes and pants that I wear are 32. Um, so just keep that in mind if you need sizing information. They have awesome reviews and customer service on their website. So starting off with one of the lightest pieces they make, it's the Alpine SL short sleeve crew top shirt. Um, super durable, super light, it's a polyester blend. I wear this in the summer when I'm scouting or early turkey season when I'm scouting. Um, turkey season, I hunt in Florida, it's where I live, born and raised. Um, it gets in the 90s super early in the year here and stays like that all the way through October. So I'll wear this when I'm doing a lot of that scouting, things like that. It's got a DWR Teflon coating, super durable, pretty wind resistant. I mean, as wind is resistant as a short sleeve top can get. Um, I'll wear that in a large. And then moving on to their Kaibab 170 Merino wool. Super awesome. I don't wear the pants as much as what most people do. I do wear the top a lot. I'll wear the top all of turkey season in the 90s, 95 degrees here in Florida. I'll wear it also beginning of deer season in, in Georgia. It's 90, 95 as well, opening day, and I'll move it. Wear it all the way into uh, October, early October as well, before we get those cold fronts. Like I said, I wear those in a medium. The shirt that I have on, this is the Wasatch Crew Top. It's a polyester blend. It's fleece lined. Um, most of their tops have the integrated thumb holes for layering to keep everything from rising up your arm. DWR Teflon, water resistant, um, super warm. It is a synthetic polyester blend, like I said. So if you're not a Merino guy, this is something to look into, but it is quite a bit heavier than that Merino top and you are gonna sweat in this um, a lot more, I've noticed. The early season pant, this is the Uinta. Um, DWR Teflon coating as well, super water resistant, dries very, very, very fast when I'm crossing creeks during turkey season and stuff. These things are dry in 10 or 15 minutes and I forget I even walk through the creek. It's got dual zipper cargo pockets on the front and the back of the pant as well. And I should go ahead and mention all zippers that Scree uses are YKK zippers. So you're getting the best zippers on the market, super durable, I've never broken one. So uh, moving on to my favorite piece and probably the most popular piece in the Scree lineup, whether you're Western hunting, Eastern hunting, in Australia, in Africa, wherever you're wearing it, it's the Kanadi 300 hoodie, 95% um, merino wool, 5% spandex. I wear it in a large, it's a quarter zip, it's got a hood, thumb holes, just like all the other pieces. It is super, super, super awesome. I'll wear this middle of October as an outer piece all the way through December, January when it's super cold and it keeps me warm, works, wicks moisture well, it's comfortable as well um, and that's what I absolutely love about this piece. I wear that in a large and I should mention that the Uinta pant I wear in a 34. So moving on to some insulation pieces. This is really the heart of the Scree system, whether you are whitetail hunting or western hunting. This is the Mad Trapper hoodie. It's super thin. It's got that water resistant Teflon DWR coating, micro fleece liner. And if I'm being honest, 
This is the uh, only sweatshirt I even own and wear a lot of the time, even when I'm not hunting. It's super lightweight, and for a sweatshirt, it actually breathes really well, and for how thin and lightweight it is, it is very warm. They make a vest that they pair with this as well. I'm not personally a vest guy. If I ever did need a vest, um, I like a hood, so probably what I would do is buy another Mad Trapper hoodie and cut the sleeves off and use that as a hood if I didn't want the full length bulk of an extra sleeve. I wear that in a large, and I wear this hard scrabble jacket in a large. It's a full zip, soft shell with a hood, drawstring hood and micro fleece lined. Super water resistant. I don't own any of their rain gear. I have used their rain gear actually as a protectant over my camera gear when I'm filming. Um, but I have never really needed rain gear. I don't stay in a torrential downpour if it's raining. If it gets too bad, I'll just walk out. Uh, it's not that big of a deal to me. But this is super water resistant for not being a quote unquote waterproof piece. It has dual hand pockets in the front and dual zipper pockets up on the chest around the pec area. Uh, for storing things, it, it, I have an iPhone 8. It'll store that perfectly fine. Um, it's got drawstrings around the waist to cinch everything up and keep it tight. It has a longer back end by a few inches to keep that breeze from riding up your back when you're bending over. And it has uh, reinforced Velcro straps on the wrist to uh, keep everything tight. I do have shorter arms for my body type. Um, and I like that feature a lot that I can I can remove some of that bulk by cinching up that uh, strap on the wrist and it keeps everything from folding up over my gloves. Moving on to the pant, this pairs with the jacket, soft shell, micro fleece lined as well. It has the same zipper system and layout as the Uinta early season pant. I have this in a 36 just um, because I like to layer bottoms underneath it. Obviously I'm sitting in a tree stand, I'm not walking around, so my legs do get pretty cold. Um, one thing I forgot to mention that the Uinta pant has, also this hard scrabble pant, is it has side vents on each leg for moisture management and to allow some of the heat to escape your body if you are doing a long hike out west or a, you're doing a longer hike in um, to a stand in the morning. I use those a lot because I will wear a 300 weight merino bottom that I got from um, a hiking company to keep my legs warm and I do tend to sweat in those just because it is a lot of bulk on the legs when you're walking in so I'll use the, that vent to, to keep me cool. Um, but like I said, this is my scree system. Um, I don't hunt the Midwest a lot where it gets down in the teens. I have and it works well. They make a puffy that is super warm. I have tried that. Um, I don't own one because I don't really need one. It doesn't get that cold where I am. Um, and as far as gloves and a net gaiter and a hoodie, they make a, a hoodie that, in my opinion, mimics like this Wasatch crew that I have, except in a, a, a beanie form, excuse me. Um, and they make a thicker glove like for glassing, things like that out west, but I don't wear that because I'm primarily a bow hunter. Um, I just have a hand muff where I stick my hand in the in the lining of the uh, of the pants and that keeps me pretty warm. Like I said earlier, they make a vest as well. I'm not a vest guy and I'd end up just modifying the, uh, the hoodie if I needed to, to make another vest. So um, I appreciate you guys walk, watching. Feel free to comment or message me if you have any questions. Um, like I said, I'm not sponsored by Scree. They didn't ask me to make this video. So this is just my honest opinion of the pieces that I use and that I need for for my circumstances hunting Georgia, Florida, and some in the Midwest for deer and turkey.